Hello and welcome back to our Civil Engineering YouTube channel. Today, we're going to talk about an important concept in mechanics, the Poisson's ratio. To make it simple, let's start with an easy example of a ball. Imagine we apply a force on the ball from the top. What happens? The ball compresses in the direction of the force, but at the same time, it expands sideways. This sideways expansion is exactly what Poisson's ratio helps us understand. Understanding this property is crucial in civil engineering, because it affects how structures deform under load and helps in designing safe and efficient materials. Let's take a simple cube as an example, when we apply a compressive load on this cube, it shortens in the direction of the applied force, at the same time, it expands in the other two directions. The direction in which the load is applied is called the longitudinal direction, while the directions perpendicular to it is called the lateral directions. If we reverse the direction of the load and apply a tensile force, the cube will obviously stretch in one direction and contract in the other two directions. The key idea here is that when a material deforms in one direction, it also deforms in the perpendicular directions. This relationship is described by a parameter called the Poisson's ratio. Poisson's ratio tells us that how much the material deforms laterally when it is stretched or compressed longitudinally. Now, let's take a closer and more precise look at the Poisson's ratio when a compressive load is applied to an object. Imagine our cube again. Its original dimensions are LX and Li and LZ. After applying the compressive load, these dimensions change. We represent these changes as delta X delta Y and delta Z. These values show how much the cube shortens in the direction of the load and how much it expands in the lateral directions. Understanding these dimensional changes is the key to defining Poisson's ratio. Next, we can write an equation for the strain in any direction. Strain is simply the change in length divided by the original length of the object. We use the symbol epsilon to represent strain in object. The Poisson's ratio can be defined as the ratio of the strain in the lateral direction to the strain in the longitudinal direction. Strain in each direction can be calculated using their respective equations. The concept of Poisson's ratio was introduced by the French mathematician and physicist Simeon Denis Poisson in 1828. Now let's look at some typical values of Poisson's ratio for different materials. The theoretical range of Poisson's ratio goes from minus 1 all the way up to 0.5. However, most materials fall between 0 and 0 0.5. Here are some common Poisson's ratio values for a few selected materials. That's all about Poisson ratio for today. If you enjoyed the content, don't forget to like and subscribe.